Tatu State Governor Simon Along has signed into law the 2022 appropriation bill of over 106 billion naira as approved by the State House of Assembly. The governor assures the citizens of the state of the faithful implementation of the budget for rapid growth and development of the state. Funam Joshua has the story. The 2022 appropriation bill is tagged Budget of Economic Recovery and Consolidation of Inclusive Infrastructural Growth. Some of the government officials and lawmakers all gathered to grace the event. While signing the appropriation bill into law, the governor commended and thanked the state lawmakers for their speedy consideration and approval of the budget. Mr. Lalong said the passage of the bill is another proof of the cordial and symbiotic relationship existing between the legislative, executive and judicial arms of government in the state. He assured the state that the government will focus on completing ongoing projects and initiating new ones with emphasis on prudence and transparency in the utilization of the resources. We are determined to ensure the faithful implementation of this budget, which has been prepared with due consideration for all the parameters for generating the funds to execute it. We spoke to the Commissioner of Budget and Economic Planning and also with a lawmaker in the state on what should be expected with this development in the year 2022. Now, two people should expect the completion of uh, ongoing projects because what we promised to do and uh, what we have started doing, we will bring it to completion. This is a very important aspect of the legislators. The governor, the governor brought in the budget and we worked hard, which he got his time, this is just to pass the budget. And now the budget has been presented to it's now a, a document to be so that two people should expect wonderful things this could be here by the grace of God. In another development, Governor Simon Lalong has asserted that the state has so much to thank God for, following the victories recorded despite the challenges of insecurity witnessed in some council areas in the state and the COVID-19 pandemic. The governor made the assertion at this year's Christmas carol at the chapel of the government house in Jos. He called on residents in the state not to despair with the challenges being faced at the moment, saying Jesus Christ has passed through many tribulations and also told his followers to expect similar challenges in their journey of faith. The most important legacy Christ left for us is the assurance of victory that we, we have over the devil and his agents. That is why we always look forward to Christmas with high expectation because we have testimonies of victories to share as we celebrate and reunite with family and friends. Citizens of the state are urged to continue to love one another, expose criminals, as well as remain vigilant and pray for the peace and unity of the nation. Phnom Joshua, TVC News, Joss.